Welcome everyone to TensorFlow Object Detection Custom Capture Solver Tutorial 3rd Part. So in previous tutorial, I mean in second part, we I made a step-by-step -step object detection solver tutorial. I showed you how to collect a data set, how to label it, how to configure your files so you could have a prepared data for your training. So we started a training and as I said, you should wait for a loss graph to drop really low and when it stops dropping, just stop your training because it's no use to train it anymore. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to export our model, I mean inference, frozen inference graph and how to use it to detect captures. So. Uh, in my screen, you can see that I opened my tensor board where I can see my training graph, how we train it. It's already stopped here, but as you can see, I trained it for about 40,000 steps, 44 uh, actually. And as, as if you saw my previous video, you remember that they saw to wait for similar graph. So here we have it. Uh, As you can see, our training finished and our graph is just perfect. So if we would train it longer, we might see something like going like this, but it's no use to train anymore. It's better to collect more data set and train model again and again, because right now it's, it's simply no use. So we'll use this model. It's actually should work very well because there was a lot of captures and so on. So, okay, let's move on other stuff. And here I have my trainings and now I'll export my inference graph. So we open a common prompt, run as administrator, we go to this directory. And here's my Counter-Strike Go uh, tutorial. And here I'll copy the line from which I'll use to export inference graph. We use inference graph.py script. So where it is, here it is. So I copy it and I'll change few lines so so we could uh, export actually capture, not CC go. We're using same model, yeah. Prefix will be well. Actually, this tutorial will be shorter because, well, you know, it's only export of model and showing how it detects. We'll use also we'll use the same code. We'll modify it slightly. We'll not it full fully from zero. And what else here? Well, I need these numbers. Model CKPT. And here it is for two six seven seven. So yeah, I, I hope everything is fine here. We can try to export it. And here should appear our model. So what else I have here is, I already uh, copied the capture label map. And I have here I have 10 captures. I can show them to you. Uh, these are quite difficult captures, as you can see, it's even hard for us to tell, would be to tell what it is. For example, here, P letter, it's uh, quite hard, would be. P, G, H, U, Q, it's, yeah, it's harder captures, I can show you. But we'll see how our model will solve it. So, for now. Here it is, frozen inference graph. We simply copy it and I add here capture that I could know that it's my capture. 
So next I need to do what I'll do is yeah I'll create a pi file so I'll call it capture object detection detection dot pi yeah and let's open it here and we go to my counter strike code and I simply copy all this code okay uh, now I'll delete few lines or for now I'll command them and later I'll delete them because we don't actually need them anyway I'll well few of them I will delete here is capture capture here is also capture we had 37 here yeah um what else image np well here will be something different all right cv dot Im image read image and I will remove this while loop we don't need it here we need to do it only once and I'll create a capture detection function here and here I'll add a tab here well what's that and I'll need to remove here a few lines also yeah we can leave it as image show we don't need this FPS calculation so pretty yeah we can do this actually we don't this either and here yeah it's probably it I'm checking it once again yeah it should be fine here and now we can run write a function and check if it can show us an image for example if we would like to first dot jpeg capture detection let's run it there shouldn't be any errors and but it's taking too long maybe oh here is an error okay let's run it again Yeah, it's also taking too long, probably. Yeah, okay. I'll add a title somewhere here. I deleted it for, for some reason, doesn't matter. I can well, I, I will not close it for now, but I'll minimize that. And the problem was only here, so maybe it should show it for us right now. Here it is. As you can see, we have quite have a quite large data set, so there is PDF, CT, and they were detected almost 100% so I'm really glad about that let's try another and keep in mind that I'm using this on a CPU because well it's not worth to do it on GPU because 
the initialization takes longer than CPU and I don't see why we should do that because we should wait then longer and this is another it's also almost 100% detected <laughs> and, and as you can see it's quite amazing well I can write more for example if maybe if it's, if it's possible to solve two at once but no again 100 percent but yeah i i probably could find few captures which would be sold and not in 100 percent give me a second i go to my file directories i had somewhere yeah it doesn't work like that it shows me blank and it's probably fifth JPEG. It's also one hundred percent. And well, I can't show you a problem here with this. Why we still need a filter? But yeah, and and in the next tutorial, I will be showing you and about the filter how to write a detection filter to if we have if our model detects one more letters than we have what we should do then but for that I'll, we'll talk in next tutorial as you can see it's also very good and let me yeah i found few captures that i can show you there is 11 we'll call it 11 12 and 13 and let's begin with the lemon i'm not sure if it will be bad but i think so. i think so we'll waiting 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 Here it is. So, as you can see, it was quite hard capture. It, it's even for me, well, not that hard, but for example, C letter is our computer doesn't actually know what it is, and behind it there is one more object. It probably would be O, but as you can see our model don't know what it is so that's the reason why we'll need a filter let's try one more harder capture and to, to write a correct filter we, ne we need a worse capture model with lower data set so it could couldn't detect these captures as good as it is right now so i'll train a little worse model So that we could r write uh, the right filter. As you can see, here is another example with bad detection. So our model sees here not H but A E, and I have no idea why. And this even the filter would not help. So this only will be helpful with b bigger data set. And let's try one more. But you have an idea what I'm talking here. So and moreover, as you can see, we are not returning a string already. So we also work on this in the next tutorial. As you can see here also it's quite harder with Q letter for our model so it would be good even if we could get more of these examples of captures but yeah i'll 
give a time for this and I'll try to detect to get more captures which is really hard to detect for our model and then I'll train again our model from these captures because it is not not good uh, good to take random captures and trade a model with it it's better to, to take a captures which is hard for our model to break right now to, to improve it faster much faster so this might be done for example by taking some link on the internet and trying to log in to some somewhere and where is required a capture so we every time we solve capture and if we fail to log in we know that we didn't solve our capture and let's download it and place it somewhere in our database so we could later train our model with them so that's what I'll do in time but right now as you can see our model works it detects captures but it simply writes it right now on the image and in next tutorial we'll write additional code it will be more with coding about how to write a filter and how to take these detections out to a string so we could use it somewhere in, and as you already know it doesn't matter how many objects there is on the captcha our mo model always will detect these letters there might be six might be ten maybe even one one or two it doesn't matter and as other models which you could find on the internet out of the box well it's actually quite hard to find but they're trained actually for four symbols five six or something like that and it's not always the same symbols on better sites so anyway um, I think that's it for this tutorial and I'll finish it on the next tutorial and the, this will be the last capture of detection tutorial we should have the final fully working model to uh, turn our symbols uh, I mean string from captures and yeah see you there and if you have any questions be sure to leave them in comment section below this video if you liked my video you know to, what to do like it and subscribe my channel text version of the story and links will be left in video subscription thank you all for watching good luck and see you in our next video